What's going on everybody, PhysioTrader here. And so the market is closed tomorrow for an observation of Juneteenth, uh, federal holiday. <clears throat> However, um, the one thing that does not stop trading, whether the market is open or closed, the stock market of it, that is, is the cryptocurrency market. And um, on Saturday, there was quite a, a volatile drop in Bitcoin and Ethereum that I thought, and I still do believe that if it somehow turns around and gets negative and, and maintains those lows, that the market is going to close down pretty low or, or it is going to open up on Tuesday being lower. So I want to take you over to those and check them out and I kind of give you some predictions. So coming over here, looking at this is my Webull platform, not my platform, but this is, this is Webull, which I use to kind of search some charts so this right here we've got amazon up uh right now this is a quarterly chart so each uh candlestick represents a quarter and as you can see these last two quarters have been awful uh we're about to hit a uh, hit a technical recession with the uh you know quarter two being a negative gdp um, but of course that won't even get announced till in like july so you know if you kind of click over meta a lot of a lot of companies they're kind of these savage drops going on but what i want to kind of divert your attention to you know even tesla big names dropping down uh, with these Fibonacci retracements, uh, I said it before. I'll say it again. I really want to see this thing sub 500. I think it'd be huge. But Bitcoin. So right now, these are weekly candles, and we had quite a violent day the last couple days, or actually the last couple weeks, of course, coming down from 48. But this, the last couple days, we found a little bit of support around the 21 thousand dollar mark. Broke through it, nice hammer candle here. And then we got as low as 17,596, quite a significant drop over there. Now, right now, uh, we opened back up this morning. We opened up around the 18.8, we went back down, and then we're, it looks like we're finding some support in this 17,000, low or high 17s, low 18s. And so now the question is, is in this, is this uh, 5MA uh, moving average, this simple moving average, is this gonna hold? I actually think we might get a little bit of a bounce. Um, it's kind of disappointing. I really thought and was hopeful. Now I do believe that even if we do get a bounce, this 28, um, oh, let's see. This 28 marker over here is definitely going to represent an area of uh, resistance now on on that currency here. So even if we do get a bounce, I do anticipate that this is going to be a big line of defense that we will have to break. Um, but nevertheless, we're also going to have to beat this 25, which is going to coincide with this previous low, as well as this downsloping, rather aggressive downsloping, simple move in average. Not to mention, you know, even if we get a nice, almost what, eight, nine thousand dollar bounce there, you got to think there's going to be some people that have bought at that low. They're going to take some profit and go from there. But one of the things that I saw up over here was I just pulled this up. And uh, I, this was drawn a long time ago. I did not draw this in a, a very long time. This was a Fibonacci retracement lines that have been put here. And uh, this is, <clears throat> so this was started like well, well over here, um, drawing from here to there, going up from um, the 21 to 43 area. This is a 161% retracement back from that 21%. And look where we bounced off aggressively. You know, the low on this candle here represents 880.16. And this right here represents 868.39. Of course, they can't be perfect. But if you look, I mean, just got so infinitely close over here. And now, of course, we are getting a little bit of a bounce. Um, and I do not think it's unheard of to think that we are going to bounce up to the 1400s. Now, um, you know, again, all of this is going to be predicated on where do we open up on Tuesday morning? And that really, I think, is actually going to depend um, a couple days ago, if if we stay at this 800 mark, 860 mark on on Ethereum or lower, or even the Bitcoin, uh, if we get down here and we stay below on the 17,000 or, or get lower and we start heading towards that 10,000, that infamous 10,000, I do think we are going to get a rather violent pullback into the market, and I think the markets will open up rather rather red, like you know three, four, five percent down to the red, you know, just on that open. But right now things are pointing to a, probably either a flat open or a, a small bounce just because of all this whipsaw violent action and this buying uh, properties coming up, especially if a lot of people in the cryptocurrency world thinks that this is the bounce, this is the bottom, and this is the holy bounce that's coming. Um, very well could be, we don't know, but you know, it just takes more time. Again, it is Sunday, so we do have all day tomorrow, or the rest of tonight and all day tomorrow to kind of see where that, that ends up. But uh, my prediction right now is if we open up over 1450, 
on Tuesday morning, the market's going to open red. Uh, and if we open, uh, you know, sub 1000, then the markets or the markets will open up red. If we're sub 1000, if we're open above that, it's going to be up above 1450 will be green on the market and probably anywhere between will probably be like a, a soft uh, or negligible change either way. Same thing with Bitcoin. And that's going to be, you know, sitting between the, the 21 and $24,000 mark will probably be a positive move above that even better. Uh, sub 20 is going to be a negative move. And, and really between 20 and 22, I think is going to be like a negligible, not a big move. So uh, either Either way, just a violent, violent rip that happened in the last couple days. Kind of disappointed. I wish it would keep going um, just because I, I think a lot of panic needs to set in and a lot more panic than what they're kind of suggesting or supporting right now uh, has not truly set in. So we'll see Bitcoin, of course, the cryptocurrencies like futures. They're open a whole lot more frequently and a lot longer throughout the day um, than you get with like the the traditional stock market so um lots of time for things to continuously correct because earlier it went from 24 to 17,000 in like you know 16 hours so another violent downturn could be in and and could be imminent but right now it looks like we're probably going to be holding on to those bottoms there so uh, that's it for me if you have any questions reach out i'll see you on the next one